Okay, hi guys, a really, really quick video, uh, just to get some information out there. Regarding the blinking pixel issue on the Sony uh, Alpha 7 Mark III, um, it's a sort of a problem that I reported quite early on, as soon as I got my camera, and I think I was one of the first people to really flag it as an issue. Uh, I did release a very quick video which showed a temporary fix, but it wasn't a permanent fix. Sony have now released a late uh, new firmware for the camera, which is the version 1.01 or 1.1 or whatever it is, just the latest uh, version firmware for the camera, which does seem to fix it permanently from my right, very quick preliminary tests. Uh, but a couple of things you should know, if you're running um, a Mac uh, like I am, uh, I'm running the latest version of High Sierra. Uh, first of all, there's a, um, a driver loader, which you need to try to install just to actually install the system software updater to be able to do the process of updating your camera. So first of all, try doing that. That didn't actually work for me because I, there's a bit of an issue. There's a bug apparently in the latest version of Mac OS where it won't, the, the security preferences, the security settings, it won't allow you to allow to load this, the, 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 the even though you're clicking allow, 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 it won't actually load the driver. So you can install the, um, <laughs> install the installer. Uh, so yeah, if you're like me and you're using 10.13.4, there's a good chance you can't get the damn software onto the camera. Uh, well, I tried using my old um, MacBook Pro, that was too old. Um, so then I tried using my girlfriend's mini Mac, which was running 10.12, and that was perfect. It just worked straight away. Um, so there you go. So if you want to get the latest firmware which fixes that pixel, that flashing pixel problem on the Sony A7 Mark III. First of all, if you're running, like I said, the OS that I'm running, try installing the driver loader first. All of these links are gonna be down in the uh, description below so you can go straight to them and download what you need to do this. Um, try installing the driver loader first, which, which sort of covers the 10.13 problem, but for me it doesn't. Uh, so the only way I could figure out of getting around this is to basically just use a different computer, which is a stupid workaround. I'm sure someone will get on the ball and fix this um, soon. But if you need to install it right now, um, you know, that's, that was my solution. It's not the best solution. There, there may be a better one, but I was looking at all the forums and nobody else seemed to be able to, like half the people would just work fine and the other half they were like, well, it doesn't work. I can't install it. I can't install it. What's wrong? Um, so I don't know what the, the proper solution is. I'm sure they'll release an update of the update so that it all, all works. But right now, as of today, uh, I personally couldn't use this iMac to install the latest firmware on my Sony A7 Mark III. Anyway, I hope that was useful, guys. Um, like I said, I'll put the links to the, um, the soft software update, uh, the actual download for the firmware, and the driver loader. I'll put the links to that down in the description. Um, and yeah, I'm sure there'll be some more information on this very soon and I'll put that down in the, the comments below just so you've got a bit of an update of what the hell's going on because it's a bit frustrating when there's a fix for a problem and you can't install it onto your camera, uh, which is the situation that I was in this morning. Anyway guys, hope that's useful. Uh, peace out and sorry for the low quality of this video, just I've got minimal time today so I just wanted to get information out there. Okay, bye.